All right, go, go. In five, four, three. That's tomorrow, and that is it. Okay. In five, four, three. That's tomorrow, and that is it for us today. And we will leave you with a. I can't do it. Okay. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll, no. we'll do it live. Fuck it. Do it live. I can. I'll write it, and we'll do it live. Right. Fucking thing sucks. In five, four, three. That's tomorrow, and that is it for us today. I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks again for watching. We'll leave you with Sting and a cut off his new album. Take it away. <laughs> what is up, everybody? Welcome back to the She Said No podcast. I'm your host, Marco G, a.k.a. The Six Scale Scoundrel, and I'm here joined by my beautiful co-host, Gigi. Gigi, say Hi. <laughs> Gigi said, Gigi's not in the best mood today. And she said, don't ask me questions. I said, you know, we're on a podcast, right? Don't ask me too many questions. Also, we're, we've got a brand new setup. So if you can't hear us or if the audio is weird, just let us know, please. But yeah, so that was an odd request. But, you know, here we are on the podcast in the new studio coming along here. Um, so, Gigi, let's just uh, start with an update on our lives. <laughs> How's everything going with you? Well, as you can tell, I've aged about 10 years in the last I definitely <laughs> stole your youth. That's a, for a fact. I, I pulled up a picture from us maybe, was it five years ago? Six years ago? Uh, when yeah. we were in Portugal and I was looking back and forth and I was like, <laughs> not that I'm a spring chicken, but you know, I still, still got it. Um, yeah, it's been a lot. I've been the most stressed that I've been in my life. <laughs> um, and What's going on though? Did you... I passed, passed the, bar. the bar. I okay. became an attorney. I got sworn in. It's been yada, a while yada. since our <laughs> last podcast. Since we last talked to you. Yeah. Um. I had my first, he or I have my first hearing in February seventh. Also, I don't know that I know how to say February. Is it February or February? February? February. I think it's. But you just, you just say February. February. <laughs> February. February seventh. Yeah. So anyway, I have a hearing, and I just had my deadline so you have to submit your stuff like two weeks prior to your actual hearing it's been a lot um my expert just ghosted me i've never been ghosted but here we are <laughs> i find that hard to believe but okay. okay anyway so that's been that's been it oh so that's it that's all yeah so gg has been I'm extra pretty stressed sure out. i don't know one of the big reasons why we haven't done this podcast in quite a while just because she's had so much going on every time i've said, mentioned like hey should we do a pod She's like, eh, not right now. So finally had some time. Friday night stream. Have we ever done a Friday night I stream? Know. I can't remember last week. She I did don't say remember. don't ask her any questions. So <laughs> there's that. <laughs> Gigi, let's start with everyone's favorite segment. What's on tap? Um, so this is everything that we're watching, listening to, reading, playing. Gigi, what have you watched recently? Um, I can't remember the names of anything. but The, the Marvels? Oh, yes, The Marvels, but the other show with... Well, the... what, let's not breeze past that. What did you think about The Marvels? <laughs> oh, I really liked it. I don't know what anybody is talking about. That's a great movie. You guys are all wrong. Great movies? <laughs> wild. A wild a great thing to movie. say. It was funny. Like, it's just, it has everything. So I don't know. Except for, I guess, more men. So... <laughs> yeah, I wasn't a big fan at all. Like, okay. I, I like most of the Marvel stuff. Was not a big fan of The Marvels. I, but... Gigi and I always say not everything has to be for everyone. So it's like, okay, this wasn't for me, but she enjoyed it. So yeah. there's there's that. But uh, we also watched, um, this was called... Also Brie Larson, is that her name? Yeah, Brie Larson. She's not my favorite. She was probably the weakest. Like, I don't think she's a good actor. I don't think anyone likes her in that role. I don't yeah. even think she likes playing that role. So yeah, yeah. that's my only critique. But that everything else I liked. We did watch a comedy special on Netflix called Fat Rascal. Oh, that and was And the funny. guy's name is, uh, boy, what is his name? Uh, Stravos Halakias. Anyways. Oh, wow. Uh, He's Greek. Yeah. He's Greek. So... <laughs> and he looks like a pedophile. He's got like the slick back oh hair. Oh, He says it in okay. the thing. Oh, that's true. Anyways, that's true. he literally says it in okay, the back. you're right, but, you're yeah. right. I what else have you been reading, watching? The show that we watched that I thought was going to be like a funny ha ha he he, but it was not. It was like that kidnapping. Oh, one. American, oh spoiler American alert, Nightmare. I guess. But um, well, I think they, they showed in the trailer. 
American oh. Nightmare was the name of the uh, the Netflix documentary. Yeah. And it kind of took place in Northern California, not too far from where we're at. So Watching it yeah. before bed was probably not the best idea. Definitely um, don't watch it before bed. And I am reading a book, although it's been uh, tough getting through it. Okay, exciting to say. <laughs> so let's check in with the chat really quick before we, <laughs> before we move on to our next segment. <laughs> we got Baby Boy 562 in the house. Baby Boy, wow, thanks for joining. Picture. Happy Friday, friends. Yeah, really stunting on him, I think. Can I say it like that or yes. is it just cringe? Pretty, pretty much anything I say is cringe. Uh, Equan saying, wow, surprise stream. Happy Friday, all. Equan, thanks for joining. Um, hopefully, I don't get beat up too hard by these segments that I've, I'm definitely asking for with the uh, figures that we're going to talk about. We got Calvin, the low-key collector. Wow, sup, y'all. Calvin, thanks for joining. Yeah, I had to give everyone uh, just an update on how Gigi's doing. I know I've been, uh, I've received some inquiries about how <laughs> she was doing. So <laughs> we got Cobra's collection. What up, what up? My very positive... <laughs> collector couple <laughs> saludos gg hey cobras thank you for joining but positive us i mean maybe me but her so no really appreciate you uh saying oh uh congrats on the bar exam now mark can make it rain one six figures <laughs> should we talk any uh finances at all or sure whatever yeah. you want let's uh wait what do you want to talk <laughs> well i just want to say that gg is now making more money than i am and that's a weird position for us to be in yeah uh, we're still trying to figure out the dynamic of like, okay, how does this all work, right? For a long time, because I was making more, I was paying a larger portion of the bills and Gigi would, you know, kind of put money aside for uh, our trips and for paying off larger expenses. And so now we're trying to figure out this flow and she's, she's been trying to pull some fast <laughs> ones on me. I'm like, just because now you're making that money, she's wanting me to slow down on things. I'm like, this is not, it's not I feel right. like that's its own, like... Yeah, that's anyway. its own segment. Okay, yeah, yeah, maybe yeah. the next, maybe we'll elaborate a bit more on the next pod. But yeah, but you so, are not wrong. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it doesn't equal more figures for me. I unfortunately. definitely maybe less. am power hungry now. Yeah, she is. She is. She's trying to switch up the rules. Watch, watch out for the double tax. Uh, Equan saying, I guess Gigi will have to ask all the questions today. Yeah, if I'm not asking questions, I don't know what, how this is gonna work. But <laughs> we got Danny Lee in the house. Danny Lee, thanks for joining. Uh, let's see, we got Big Dog Pound. Nice. I know I'm late, but uh, Feliz Año Nuevo at 1-6-Fix. Say it hey. right, Felix. Felix. <laughs> hey, Big Dog Pound, thanks for joining. Let's see. And I think that that is it for now. So let's move on now to Guess Significa. And Gigi, you wanted to see this written out, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to I'm gonna write it out for everyone while you explain what the what the term is. Well, you have to do well, it I'm first. Well, I'm going to write it out. Ugh, Just... Oh, my God. I can't even remember anymore. Okay, this is it right here. Oh, no, I want you to say it. Oh, okay. Let, I'm saying it then. <laughs> this, is, this is going really well. <laughs> Ese día si me pase. <laughs> Ese so, día si mm -hmm. me pase. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write that out. So you actually say, Ese día si me pase. So uh -huh. your emphasis is incorrect. Si me pase. Me pase. Mm -hmm. Okay. Me pase. And it's slang for like more so, and anybody can correct me, but I think it's more like... Uh, that day I was out of pocket. Like, you know, I did too much that day. Ese día si me pase. Si me pase. Si me pase. Mm -hmm. And so it was like I was out, of, this day I was out of pocket. So like, yeah. and what would that refer to? Like but I it, said it, something crazy? But if you crazy? translate it, exactly. It's like that mm -hmm. day I did pass. <laughs> that so day I was I hoping pass. Okay. for you to translate it. You're doing this all wrong, first of all. But yeah, I like I was out of pocket you... that day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but like out of pocket. Like I, yeah. like I... Was un it was uncalled for. Yeah, like I was crazy that day. Okay. And I recognized that. Oh, wow. <laughs> Do you ever recognize when you're acting? Of course. That's news to me, okay. but that is news to me. Okay. <laughs> I apologize when I'm wrong. The fact that I'm not wrong a lot, that's, wow. I think, where you think that I don't. <laughs> yeah. I think, uh, so I've, I've always never been strong in arguments, as you can all see from this podcast, but... <laughs> Now that she's a full-blown attorney, I think I'm cooked. Like, I don't know that I'll, I will ever win an argument again. Exactly. So, but I should use this though. If I was, let's say I was acting up, I, a package arrived <laughs> that I didn't talk to you about. Should I just be like, ese día si me pase? Mm -hmm. Si you me know? pase. Si me pase. Okay. Don't I'll wrong, get it right. I'll get ahead. it right. <laughs> uh, let's see. We got Tuke in the house saying, oh, wow, it's the duo teaming up Hi, again. Tuk. I know it's been a while. It's been a while, mm -hmm. Tuke. So, had to, uh, had to bring y'all a stream here. Um, okay, so that is uh, Que Significa, and let's move on now to everyone's favorite segment. Is it weird? 
Now, Gigi, what is the is it weird today? I don't know if I've done this one before, okay. but is it weird to eat and not drink anything while you're eating? I don't think that, man, I don't like, remember. Like, okay, well, I'm just going to ask it again because mm. I don't remember either. Uh, when you eat like dinner or lunch or anything, do you drink at the same t- Like, do you drink while you're eating or <laughs> because I recently noticed that I don't drink while I'm eating. I wait to drink until after I'm done eating. <laughs> Whereas I will be the guy that they're constantly filling up my water before dinner even comes. I've probably had at least two or three glasses of water during dinner. I'm slamming it. I'm pretty sure that's an anxiety thing. I'm pretty sure I'm just drinking the water because I'm in this anxious like social setting most of the time. Even when it's just you and I, I just feel like I just nervously drink water. I but think you that's don't... normal. I think I'm the... I think it is weird that I don't drink while I, I'm eating. I think that there's a middle ground, though. I think having like <laughs> one glass or half a glass of something while you eat is the normal thing to do. Not like five glasses of water and a beer or But you have whatever. a whole meal and like don't drink until yeah, after you're done. You're definitely weird for it, too. I'd say you're definitely, definitely weird. So let us know. Is it that. is that weird to... <laughs> To eat and not drink at all. I, I said, yeah. I think yeah, that that's think totally not not the thing to do. Yeah. Um, any more thoughts on that, Gigi? No, I just noticed that. I'm sure I've been doing all my life. And you said I your just... dad did that too, right? Mm-hmm. That's where... Yeah. I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, podcast 101. <laughs> uh, yeah. I do remember him saying... Well, he doesn't drink beer when he's having a meal. Uh-huh. He drinks it after he's done. With the whole meal. After but I don't know meal. if that is the same with like other drinks. I just who's, know with alcohol. Yeah. He doesn't drink say? a beer okay. until after. Who's he's to done. say? Who's to say? Yeah. All right. Very interesting there. Well, let's move on now to Gigi Judges. All right. So let's just get right on into the meat of all Perfect. this. Gigi, this is a very Batman centric episode. There's a lot. There's been a lot of Batman stuff that's been um, teased or... Yeah, let's just say tease recently. And I do just really quickly want to shout out our affiliate over at Collector Zone. So we have a promo code 16fix. No. 16fix. Not 16fix. <laughs> yes, it's literally 16fix. <laughs> All right, 16fix will get you 15% off your order over there at Collector Zone. Now, I, b- I believe that applies only to in stock items, but Marcos is very active on Facebook. So hit him up. Um, and you can clarify any questions you have. So appreciate Marcos. Fix. <laughs> wow, one six fix. But appreciate Marcos for doing that blurred giveaway for us. And uh, yeah, so give him a shout out. Also, the link to Collector Zone down in the comments, or excuse me, down in the description below. So let's move on to our I, first I figure here. <laughs> All right. So, so the reason I added this, I know this may seem random, but this one just released recently. Gigi, you saw Multiverse of Madness, right? Yes. Okay. What do you think of when Doctor Strange? So this is when he teleports into the dead body and they call this figure dead strange right um the the dead body and so it's i added it for two reasons or three reasons number one you've seen the film Mm -hmm. number two it's kind of like a grandiose piece right like you like those more grand ones with the big wings or a cape Mm -hmm. and then you don't really like things that are spooky like you tend not to like a spooky Mm -hmm. things but really curious what do you uh what do you feel about this one like is this not not for adding to my collection, but just what do you feel about it in general? I'm torn. I do like it because it's different from, let's say, the 5,000 Iron Men that you have. We'll or get there. We'll this, get there. You know, no, like it is different enough, I feel like, to anything else. Like looking at this, I'm not like, oh, that's Doctor Strange. I'm thinking it's something else. Yeah. Um, and people were saying, so I've got that uh, zombie, or excuse me, the. Uh, Iron Man that's like a corpse, basically, sure. right? The illusion mm-hmm. Iron Man is what it's called. People are saying that that would pair up really nicely with this. When did you right? get that? When did I get it? Yeah. I've had that. I don't know that I had that, one. that. Okay. I had that one. Okay. So. Um... Anyways, I've just, been waiting, I've just been waiting to display it now that I'm getting my display sure. area. Out. Um, I think it's different enough. I don't know that he looks like Doctor Strange in the face. Or, I mean, 
you know, I don't yeah, think he looks so, like Doctor so Strange. So I do have a so so this is another shot here, and I do have a snip of what Ew. it looked like in the film. Ew. Yeah, it's a, it's a pretty horrific I moment. I don't remember him looking like this. Yeah, he Ugh. looked really yeah. fucked up. But I actually loved this moment in the film sure. because it was so weird. I was like, ah, oh, to do this in a Marvel mil- movie. It's just really odd. Only Sam Raimi could get away with something like this. I do this. remember I think I liked it. And isn't there like a funny, silly part? Or no, am I sure? Uh, yeah, I think that there's a lot of it that's like yeah. kind of goofy, right? Yeah. Like it's horror, like, but also goofy. I like that. But do you think it translated well to a figure? Because I don't know that it's like a one for one oh, match. Yeah, but... I don't, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't, even though I've seen the film and, you know, I don't pay that much attention. But uh, I'm pretty sure I looked away like probably the entire time during this period. But, um, I don't think it's a one for one, but I think it's a cool figure, uh-huh. like in and of itself. Okay, so how many pancakes would you give this? Oh, um, let me see the face again. Uh, the face of the of the figure or of the, the real guy? There's I don't the like the right hair. Mm-hmm. Um, if you like, can you cut the hair or is that? No, it's it's sculpted or not rooted. Okay, um, I'm gonna go with the six. Six. Wow. Okay, so interesting. Um, yeah. So this is this is kind of regarded as one of those underrated figures that people are like once this is sold out you're gonna regret it like this is one of the coolest ones i think it's pretty badass but i don't know that it necessarily that's a good question i'll look it up really quickly um wow i'm gonna say three to four final answer 384 dollars. yeah okay uh and so you would be you would be pretty wow. correct, three hundred and ninety dollars. Wow, Gigi, that's mm. very, very impressive. I am very. Impressed yeah, you've been doing dog. this for a while now. <laughs> Big Dog Pound says, Gigi, if this wasn't ever covered, I don't know if this was ever covered, but do you have your own personal Hot Toys collection? Uh, technically, under California law, half of these Hot Toys are mine. You sick mother. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, I do. Um, I have one figure of my own. I think you've got multiple, right? Do you have just the one? So, yeah. So Thomas, aka Classy Thomas, aka SpongeBob Square Bowels, uh, did gift Gigi a, a really awesome figure. It's an anime mm-hmm. inspired one, but I felt like you had another figure as well. I don't think so. Hmm, okay, she's got some other like odds and ends. She's got um, what's the judge that you've got up there? Oh, those aren't one six. It's not a so. it's not a one six, but yeah. it's a little. Like... I have like Funko Pops too, but yeah. that's not the question. Yeah, so she 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 only has one one six. Oh, but I but... don't have any Hot Toys collection. There, I mean, there you go. True. You know, yeah. obviously, yeah. People, all of this is mine. So. Well, <laughs> okay, <laughs> there you go. You're headed here first and last. This is all hers as well. So, uh, Danny's seen so many arms. Yeah, Danny, you getting this one or what? Yeah, I think it's cool. I think in uh, as far as like those weird ones or like, I know it's not technically technically a one off, but I do think it's unique. Yeah, it's a it's an interesting figure for sure. Mm-hmm. So I think I'm with you though. It's cool, but it's not. I uh, still love the hair. I feel like the hair, like, yeah, it had. Yeah, you, the hair you would almost want to see it rooted. Then is what you're saying. Like it would have been more lifelike. No, if it no, was rooted. just just cut the hair. Like just give it short hair. Oh, like have or it, more have it all back. the way back. Yeah, ah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I don't like, like the. Ah, it looks okay. a little bit. I know that's you yeah. know I I get it, but. Okay, I, you know, and I've come. I'm coming around on rooted hair actually. I think that this would be a pretty badass one to see rooted. But anyways, let's move on now. So I disagree. We're going to get pretty heavy into the Batman talk here. And before we go to the topic of the show, we're going to talk about in art. Now, you're familiar with in art in that the Joker that I've got right here, right? That that Joker that you heard about endlessly. I've got my sculpted version. I've got my rooted two pack inside of the uh, inside of the house. So I've got three of the in art Jokers. Now, they are releasing a Joker from the Joker film with Joaquin Phoenix. Mm-hmm. Um, the reason I bring this one up, Gigi, is this one's going to be pretty pricey, right? So the the Joker 2-pack was about 1100 bucks, included two figures, a diorama. This one, the speculation is that there's going to be multiple uh, SKUs or SKUs, if you will. But these are all pushing, you know, 1200 1300 Fifteen hundred dollars for every iteration. I am so of this. sorry, yeah. but I stopped listening for a second. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> That's all good. That's all good. Go on. So, so, but there's multiple. So, so the, the details the point, haven't please. been released. The details haven't been released, but okay. we're gonna know here very soon once the pre-order pre-order opens on the thirtieth, right? Okay. So, which is which is upcoming. Okay. Um, but this is kind of the final look where he's in the suit. Sure. There's also, and this is what he looked like in the film, because sure. I know you're gonna ask. Sure. 
This is him as Arthur okay. Fleck before he turns into the Joker. There's that look as sure, well. Sure. Now, this one might be locked behind a different, like, ultimate tier. We don't know just yet. I don't know okay, just yet. Okay, I gotcha. Mm-hmm. Um, and then there's also, so it comes with the diorama, right? Um, the hospital version when he used to dress up like a, ca- a clown and go to the hospital. And then there's this dancing one, right? So, so mm-hmm. to, my point is, there's going to be some packages with a bunch of different looks. Now, my question for you really is, is this pushing it way too much now that we're talking about over a thousand dollars for multiple figures? Or you think that's kind of cool that it's like you could have an ultimate version of a character that you love and, you know, they're not they're, they're giving you every iteration that you could possibly want. You think that that's a cool, cool thing for collectors? Sorry. So, like, I know that I think you mentioned that uh, I think this is the part where I stop listening. So sorry that I'm asking this again. Each figure is potentially a thousand dollars. Uh, sorry, no. So, so every iteration, and I'll tell you exactly what the rumor is. So, um, there's there's allegedly going to be two packages of this, and the two skews that we are hearing are it's going to be a two pack, which is going to be about a thousand dollars, you know, overseas. So, probably let's say eleven or twelve hundred dollars to get it to us, mm-hmm. and then a four pack which is going to be about 1500 bucks. So let's say about $1,700 to get it to us. For four figures. For four total figures oh. and these dioramas that you're seeing. Okay. So so are you seeing the value there or the fact that, you know, a company can kind of give you all of the iterations you would want in one go? Or does this just seem like, like the ultimate uh, frivolous uh, expenditure, basically? I feel like this is hard to answer given that you have three of the exact (laughs) same figures and you paid about the same. Yeah, for sure. So when you put it that way, I would rather have all these looks rather than literally if you put each of the ones that you already have side by side, I could not tell the difference. So I'd rather go with this option rather than the one you already have okay got it because they're because they're distinct enough to you very different Uh yeah and it's cool you have four clowns instead of literally the same the same thing over and over yeah and no and i think that that's pretty appealing now i didn't love this movie necessarily um i think that the diorama with the chair in this in the studio that's pretty badass regardless of how i felt about the film um, but I don't know that I need to spend this money. I don't think on... so. Yeah. I don't think you do either. I, <laughs> I really don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so either. But we'll see what the two pack looks like and we'll see what the final price is. I don't is. think you're interested. Okay. I guess I'm not yeah. interested. You, you heard it here <laughs> first, folks. But um, yeah. So, all right. So how many pancakes would you give just the overall package? Let's say all four oh. figures. How many pancakes are you giving it? I would say like a 9.5. Okay. You like the likeness and I think everything? It's pretty you think? Strong. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful package, honestly. Mm-hmm. That I think weird. the... The figure looks better than the actual character, actually. This one looks better than the picture of him. Yeah, it was kind of a weird picture that I selected, honestly. But well, that's yeah, that's fault. that's on me for sure. Yeah, for sure, one hundred. But yeah, this this yeah, one like... in particular looks great. So mm-hmm. if there's a two pack of that, no. Vito, Vito, Vito. Vito, Vito, Vito. All right, so nine and a half pancakes out I of ten. I feel like mm-hmm. if you had just had some self control and just gotten like one Joker instead yeah. of like the three, you know, because now it's like, no, sir, you already have three. Like, yeah. Oh, we'll get there. Oh, this oh, is okay, just the okay. start. Oh, <laughs> this is just the start of these Jokers. I, I started trying to do a Heath Ledger impression and then it just devolved into yeah, something yeah. really weird. Let's move on before you get more embarrassed. Anyways, okay, so Big Dog Pound with another question. Hey, keep the questions coming, by the way. Love this. Um, Marco and Gigi, if Hot Toys made a Taylor Swift figure, would you buy it? I'm not a Swifty. She's not a Swifty. Do you like her <laughs> I don't like any all? joy. <laughs> yeah. Um, I I wouldn't, like, put it on. I wouldn't put on her music, but I, yeah. and, like, it's, she has good music, but not something that I would go and so I've never I've always found Taylor Swift pretty inoffensive. I thought her music was fine, but now that she's sleeping with the enemy, and I mean the Kansas City Chiefs, uh, she is persona <laughs> non grata. Is that the uh, the correct no term? Idea. Yeah, Scum she's. Of the well, that's going pretty far, <laughs> but uh, yeah, she's not my favorite person. So, yeah, I think uh, I think that'd be a pass for for Gigi and for me. We got Graham the Jedi Knight's watch in the house. Graham, what's going on? Thanks for popping in here. Uh, let's see. He's saying good to see Marco and Gigi. Hey. She finally had some time. I've been trying to convince her to do a podcast for a long time. 
and I kept getting vetoed. So we we finally had a free. Well, moment. how should I feel? You didn't even post about this. You posted about your show later tonight, but wow. then you didn't show. Like you know what I mean? I was in the process of I'm working. I'm just saying. On I'm just saying. You gotta be. Regardless of what the speculation is about if it takes talent or skill <laughs> or time to do live streams, podcasting like is kind of time intensive to prep the materials. Unless you just bring it up and just flip through Facebook and even then it's not easy. So I don't know. I was I was I was preparing for sure. I'm just saying. Okay. You gotta well, treat the talent well, you know? I thought I was. I thought no. I was here. I haven't asked you too many questions. So. <laughs> right. so let's move on now to the Batman. Now, yeah. Hot Toys recently released the Batman, mm -hmm. right? So I've got the motorcycle already. I think you can see it over Gigi's shoulder. Um, I was not that not, impressed by it. By you the, weren't impressed by, by the ways. motorcycle, really? How much was it? Uh, three something. Yeah, no, no okay. chance, no chance. I thought the bike was awesome. So this is what it looks like with him unmasked. Mm -hmm. um, this is a, a still from the movie. Mm -hmm. Now, he's pretty much shrouded in darkness throughout... A lot of it so i had a hard time finding like a really good one-to-one -one, sure. but there's pattinson there's him on the bike though i think this is a badass combo with the bat signal as well you're not impressed no okay you don't like the the sculpt like you don't think that it's a no i mean i think it looks good and i finally watched the movie which i didn't know that batman was supposed to be like the world's greatest detective that's right we did watch the movie recently <laughs> yeah so yeah she's like I wait never... that is a detective i was like yeah the world's greatest actually <laughs> yeah and no clue um i like the movie actually i was shocked that i liked it but i yeah i i think the figure is cool but i would not have i wouldn't have bought the bike i don't think it's impressive i don't think it's 300 dollars plus impressive okay you just wait until you see my my ultimate right there. setup okay okay I just... like this is gonna be this is gonna this is gonna sing right here mm. but okay so Gigi's a skeptic okay so I will say Gigi so so this came out already right so sure. the the bat signal the Batman and the bike have released but we've got in art everyone's favorite company still waiting around the corner so they've got two versions coming out a sculpted and a rooted mm -hmm. actually and then a Bruce Wayne and then their own bat signal and then a, a pack that includes all of it all together Gigi what do you think about the, in art's offering of this, the the uh, rooted Bruce Wayne? You think that that's like superior to the Hot Toys version? Uh, I would have to see it in, like side by side. Oh well, I don't. Well, wow. let me just flip back and forth. Okay, there's there's Hot I mean, Toys. It's like very different lighting. You uh, that, know? It's hard. Like, that's it's a, that's like... the thing. We, that's the data that we're all working okay, off of the, though, because we we can't see them in the sure. same conditions. What's the price point? What's the difference? This one's five hundred dollars. And what's the other one? This one for the deluxe, for you get the bat signal, the Batman, and a deluxe base for about five hundred and fifteen bucks. Oh, easy. So you you would rather have the Hot yes. Toys one? Okay, got it. This is a better value yeah. proposition in your yeah. mind. Yeah, yeah. 100. There is a sculpted version of this one that looks a little bit worse, but um, and that one is like three seventy five. I want to say. Wait, so, sorry. Can you go back one more time? Yeah, of course. Okay. Obviously, I can't. It's not a good comparison. It's because hard. I, here, let, yeah. me, let me flip to this other picture here. This is... This is Hot Toys. Okay. The lighting on the Inart one makes mm -hmm. the costume yeah. look like styrofoam. Ooh, okay. So I don't love that. Mm -hmm. um, okay, yeah. I'd go with the... And, and also, mm -hmm. I would never display Batman without the face mask i think thing. that's what a lot of people have said right like they're like i'll never display them like this i'll like always uh maybe it, it does make it does make everything look kind of flat for yeah, sure yeah. yeah i get what you're saying but everyone so this is what it looks like with the cowl yeah. on mm -hmm. people are like yeah i would never display him without the cowl which i understand but i like the options because even if i didn't think that, like it was the best batman film ever i still thought it was a really cool film and i like the the costuming so okay Okay, well, he's not impressed. Uh, I'm just see. saying for your value, I would rather get yeah. everything else, yeah. you know? No, I think that that's a, that's a smart decision. Uh, Graham is saying, Gigi going to approve of the J&D figures. That's our topic of the show. So we will get there, Graham. Thanks for, for setting that I forget that up. we don't get into the topic of the show until like a thousand years later. You What's know what coming I mean? up? This is our last figure before okay. the topic of the show. You want to read this one? Gigi, me puedes dar un préstamo, JK. My fiancé is a CPA here in LA and also makes more than me. It's beautiful thing for <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know, 
it's uh yeah i was very very happy for her to get for her to get this opportunity but then she started to get to get power hungry <laughs> and now i'm regretting um, this is true you know i'm not i'm not denying it yeah. this is true she's trying to switch the game up yeah. all the time but like we talked about before i'm the more materialistic one and she's not so we bump up against that where she's like she's not wanting to buy you know multiple hundred dollar things for herself all the time whereas like every other week i'm wanting a figure so <laughs> it's it's tough uh let's see uh graham is saying uh in art will release the batman next month and ship out next year yeah probably by the time we get the in art in hands uh, from when you see breda's review versus when we get it it's going to be a long long time uh Saiful saying in art looks hotter yeah you know he does look <laughs> he does look pretty damn sexy right there look at that I know Pattinson's yeah. not really your guy, but yeah. look at that. Look at that jawline. Look at that. Um, that's awesome. Saiful, thanks for joining. Blackbird Tech saying, got the in art on pre-order. Can't wait. Are you going with the rooted or the sculpted? Just uh, just curious there. Uh, thanks for joining as well, Blackbird Tech. We got Big Rib. What's up, everyone? Mm -hmm. Big Rib, thanks for joining. Okay, GG. <laughs> so the Hot Toys, let's just say the deluxe package, the all-in for 515. Yeah. What do you give that? How many pancakes? I think it's great value. <laughs> Look at me saying great value. Yeah. So so take away the bike though, because the bike's separate. Sorry. Wait. <laughs> that was that was deceiving. That was deceiving. The bike's about three hundred on its own, and then another oh, five. Oh, you said all of this. Combined. I know. I got confused. Okay. I was. I, <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything. Yeah, it came with. So for some reason, they shipped me the bicycle before oh the rest, but it's all okay. It was all sorry. The same price. Tell me again. Now it's a new analysis. Yeah. All right. Okay, so the bike's about three fifteen, okay. and then Batman, the Bat Signal, and a deluxe base, which I don't have a picture of, but it's pretty cool. It's like a, like the side of a building, basically. Um, that's five fifteen. Thanks. I hate it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and the other one is how much? Five hundred. Let's just say just for the, the high figure. end one, just the figure that's okay. full, that's rooted five hundred dollars. That's a completely different analysis because here's the thing. Yeah. Like okay, sure the bat signal is cool, but like whatever, you know. So <laughs> I guess I'd have to go. I need better pictures, number one. Yeah. But if I was paying like what is it like a hundred and something more for the figure that looks better, am I gonna you? I mean, I get that you would like the bat signal yeah i don't know this one's tough i there, think it... there is an all-in version that includes bruce wayne with the rooted okay. hair bruce batman wayne, i know in the in the film he's not really he's not really bruce wayne but so batman with the rooted hair and then also a bat signal so in art has their own like deluxe package but that's a little under a thousand dollars i want to say okay no if i just want <laughs> okay, the figure no. i'm just gonna get whichever figure looks better to me okay so which one looks better well, i don't know because the pictures are so like <sighs> It's like, you know what I mean? <laughs> it, well, that's the tough part as collectors, though. Just really quick to get into our mind. This is what we're shown, though. We, we've seen some other shots, but it's really the messaging that's controlled by the company. No one has either, both of these figures in hand. No one can say like, oh, this is what this looks like versus what this looks like. You kind of have to pre-order on blind faith. Well, then the question is, why doesn't the other company, Hot Toys, Hot Toys yeah. put better pictures? they did though that's i mean that's but also maybe picture? also maybe their product just yeah i mean they're stylized it's so dark. Right? yeah but Ugh. i think that they're trying to match the the vibe of the film of course right of course. like everything's trying sure, to look like sure, the film sure. but maybe their product is just that this inferior it, yeah. as well right uh yeah i mean yeah the face looks better than the other one so i would just go with the other one okay so you like the one with the likeness that seems to yeah. be better but yeah so we'll find out soon I mean, by and by soon, hopefully by the end of the year. But also, depending on whatever my budget is, you know, because yeah. I am okay with, I as a collector, am okay with it looking not exactly or not as good if it's going to save me $200, yeah. you know, it's all, I can live with that. It's all a so, calculation for sure. Yeah. Okay. So let's see, uh, Saiful saying, show the in our pre-order photos, Marco. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I'm, show, I'm showing her. Yeah. <laughs> I'm showing her, you know, this in art from the showcase. I don't want to, I don't want to go. I think on another show, we'll kind of go through all, all the photos. I'll lay them side by side because I want to get to the topic of the show. She's already getting worked up here. So let's, uh, let's not. I feel car sick. Her, yeah. Let's not make you too <laughs> nauseous with the Batman stuff. Okay. So in art, how many pancakes? Uh, just now. Just now. You can... Yes. Uh, I'm going to go with the eight. 
eight. Seven okay. and a half because okay. I don't love mm. the way that the costume. I don't. The face looks good, but the costume does. It just. It's not dark enough for me. It okay. looks too light for me. Okay, got it. It's, it's also under very bright lights. Okay, so yeah. eight on that. And seven. Then, okay, seven I I on said. the Hot Toys. Oh, okay, no, seven, seven on, on the in art. Okay, yes. and then how many on the Hot Toys? It's hard. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with a seven too because okay. the body looks better. But again, I would just display it with a mask. I just don't need yeah. to have this issue. You know. Okay. Fair enough. Fair for three hundred dollars, just put the mask on and there you go. Let's there's, go. Let's there's move an art on. With the mask. Get a <laughs> nice dinner after. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's true. It's true. Yeah. It's all a value proposition. I get fail. Okay, so now let's move on because we want to talk about more jokers. Let's move on. I hate to this. I hate this one. J and D Cogen like, Works. Now this is a brand new company here, right? This is a brand new company. Sure. Doing just one, one six I figures. I just want to know how much. Now just how much their parent parent company. J and D Studios mm -hmm. has been making statues for for okay. some time now. Okay. Um, and so this uh, so this company is like known for being really high end. That's sure. Korean company, and they <laughs> they are a bit of an elitist brand. I would say. Okay, I just want to know how much. Yeah. So let me let me work up to that. I don't want to get to know the person. I let just me, need to know. Let me just work up. Let me just work the up bottom there. line. Okay. So th it comes with a few different SKUs. So there's there's A type, B type, and C type. Now I'm just going to talk only about the highest end iteration. There is a more affordable option, but let's just talk highest okay. end here, okay? All right. So this is a. <laughs> let me go to everything I that he's going to come with. I absolutely hate this one. Okay, so I hate so it. so really what they're known for is the silica silicone sculpts sure. and hands, right? Mm -hmm. So you you see the posability of the neck. And this is everything that you would get with it. So you get two of the figure bodies. You would get um, two different sculpts. You're seeing the multiple outfits, the dogs as well. 1800 So I'm going to quote the spec fiction price here. And so for the... Mean? So this is, a, this is a reseller that's here in the United States. Oh, okay. They're based out of LA. So for mm -hmm. just the A type, I know I just said I'm going to focus on the highest end one. For sure. the lowest one... It would be about fifty. Uh, let's see, one thousand fifty mm -hmm. before shipping and tax, and then for the highest end one, it would be. Oh, he doesn't have the price on here. Hold on. Let me see. Oh, we blew it. Damn it. It says TBD, right? Well, it it did have the price on here. Okay, I'm gonna go to one six kit now. I'm gonna go to one six kit. I'm pivoting. Oh my God. Anyway, I hate this. And um, what's your question? Just ask me the question right now. No, I'm just that's that's the question is what you think um, what you think about it. <laughs> You're not impressed, apparently. I just okay. What I think about it about you getting this about like in general yeah, about this having is all another just in general. company this doing this. This is all just this. in general. Honestly, I'm sick of seeing this. <laughs> I just why? Like, sure. I don't I don't know that I can't believe this is the topic of the show because like Okay. Why <laughs> why can't you believe that? Because like why? Like like who cares? Like there's another company <laughs> that's making the same toy that's been made. You know what I mean? Yeah, so so the fact that it's another Joker, it's not impressive to you at all. <laughs> I just yeah, like this was kind of I mean, if you want to get it and then stop wasting my time. Wow, okay. So you... you <laughs> Not you. Oh. Not you. Okay, I thought you meant me. <laughs> I thought you meant no, me. No, <laughs> you will not be getting any more of these. Like, no. Three already is ridiculous. Like, there's no need for you to be looking into any of this other stuff. You know what I mean? No. I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm sick so to you're my not right you're now. not in favor of me. And so no. so I've really blown it here because the really high end one. So it was, it was over two thousand bucks. Oh yeah. Yeah. No. It was over two thousand. And it's bucks. the same. It's the same size. Uh yeah, it's one oh, six. Yeah. It's no, a one six no, scale no figure. No chance. Okay. No chance. And I and I'm actually with you on this one. I think that it's kind of wild the price, right? Like it's pretty pretty crazy that within art. They were already pushing so eleven hundred dollars for two figures and a diorama that seemed like seemed like a lot, but this now to get one figure is 
over a thousand bucks to get two figures. You're talking about over two thousand dollars. I think it's they've pushed too far. Honestly, there yeah, are others that, at yeah. that point. Just get a statute, right? I think so. And then now you're kind of bumping up against statute territory, yeah. or like something else, right? Like <laughs> now you're. <laughs> I don't know, like another hobby that's pretty expensive, oh. like two thousand dollars in real world dollars. Yeah. Like now you're talking about like you can get a lot of different things, even with inflation. A uh, safe old saying. I heard Marco is getting one gifted by someone from the community. <laughs> Ain't that right? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I heard Ben Thomas was going to send oh me one because it's actually cheaper if you get it shipped to Canada sure. and then some some conversion thing. Yes. Uh, Big Dog Pound saying, "I feel you, GG. I'm over Heath Ledger Joker too. Yeah, there's a lot of jokers, right? Yeah. It's a lot of jokers. And I know you're going to ask, so this, well, here's another, here's another uh, shot of what Okay, he looks like. let me ask you something. Yeah, talk to me, talk to me. <laughs> First of all, I hate Let this. me tell you something, let me tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it. Is there, okay, I feel like this is a dumb question, but like, to me, this looks too grimy. Like, I don't like it. Uh-huh. Even if it wasn't that price. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, this looks... The makeup's too dirty. Like it just yeah. looks just. Yeah. I, I mean that's that's it. screen accurate though. So let me let me go to what he actually. Looks I almost like. want to say like it's too real. It's too real. Yeah. Oh like, really? It's like, okay. I don't okay. know. That doesn't. You know. I I like put a little filter yeah. on it for me. I don't, See, for my yeah. money. So here's the other thing: is for my money, the likeness isn't that great, honestly. So if I'm spending two thousand bucks, I think it looks good, but it looks a bit puffy. So yeah, that's what here's, I'm saying. Here's like, Hot looks, Toys rooted version. Like I need a little, you know. I, what yeah. do you think about the Hot Toys rooted version? I know we talked about uh, this already. I, that, no. Okay. Just, you don't like I don't that wanna, one? Here's in art. Wanna... Here's in art one yeah, that I have. Sure. Right. This is the prototype, so not apples to apples. And there, there's what he looked like in the real film. So, um, so too real for you though. But like too like real too, in a bad way. In a bad way. Like too old. Well, yeah. Like the light. It's not the likeness of Heath Ledger necessarily yeah. that's coming through. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. Something's wrong. I'm, yeah. Yeah. Looks too old. I don't so. Love it. Yeah, I'm just I I'm with you though, Gigi. We're we're gonna land here on the same place on this one. Okay, on on wow. this one, we're gonna land in the same place. I think for the price, it doesn't feel worth it. Now, when the final product comes out, maybe I'll have insane FOMO when I, I see Ben Thomas's Joker. This is why I think that I don't. This whole thing is a waste of my time because the podcast <laughs> or yes. don't ask you questions. Okay, <laughs> all of it. Wow, because. It doesn't matter what you say. Like, you are not a man of your word. You'll, like, go back I'm a man and of my then word. say, like, <laughs> I know I said that, but actually, the new uh, whatever, like, now we've seen it in hand and it looks so amazing. I didn't, and I'm I didn't just come here $2, to get it <laughs> You know what I mean? You knew what you're signing up for. My point is that I cannot trust anything that you say because it's just like you That's just good take it thumb. back, you know? Yeah, I am constantly <laughs> analyzing, though, right? I will say, like, oh, this one's probably not for me. And then I get more data, I see more sure. pictures. And I'm like, oh, actually, this yeah. is ki- I kind of want that mm-hmm. one. So I'm not, maybe to say I'm not a man of my word isn't fair because I never want to definitively say like, nah, I'm not getting this. But for this one, for this one, I think I'm out. I think I'm out. Graham is saying, Marco is an honorable man. Graham, I appreciate you coming to my defense. Obviously, my wife won't do that. So. <laughs> yeah, so so this one, oh, God, they I pushed it. the limits of the one six scale pricing. I don't love the likeness but but wait there's more there's more so we talk about hot toys this is this isn't released yet but this is their new iteration of the joker we talked about you know like a like different they announced the new they okay. announced this is hot toy that was All hot right. toys specifically yeah, right this is in our this is the one i don't I even have. care that they're different actually heath ledger sure they have teased mm. they have teased that they would do an armory now are you familiar with this part of the movie uh no so when Bruce Wayne's hiding out, right? So he's he has gotten away of the from the Batcave. He has his all his gadgets, his tumbler, his full suit that are in a different location, kind of in um like an industrial yard basically. That's a movie I watched. Yeah, The Dark <laughs> I don't The remember. Dark Knight. Oh, I don't Joker's remember run? that. Remember when okay. I asked is that Remember when I was like, "Is that Batman?" That was the Dark Knight Rises, but he okay. did have his own armory in that. I'm that's done. a whole different that's a whole I'm different done topic. We'll get we'll get to that I'm another done. time. Okay. But no, Gigi, I don't so, remember. So now they're teasing. Okay, so let's say the Joker with two figures was twenty two hundred dollars. I don't remember the exact amount, and I fumbled Sorry, the bag. Sorry, one more time. To... One more time. 
the J and D Joker okay. that included two figures okay. with the silicone, with yes. the movable, okay. the hands are movable. He's got a skeleton, the nasty one. Okay. He's got a skeleton under his face. Oh yeah. That one was, let's just say it was twenty two hundred dollars. Sure. What do we think this is gonna cost? Right? So this is what they're teasing is Bruce Wayne. I know this is a very blurry picture, but mm. they're teasing Bruce Wayne and the armory. Let's say it's this real full metal and the bat suit, let's say it's like some industrial grade rubber that's meant to mimic the the bat suit from the batman what would be a reasonable price for $3, something like this thirty two hundred dollars final answer would be reasonable yeah okay so you'd be down for something like this no that's what i think they think would be reasonable uh, no i think you're right so sorry i'm not asking what i think they're gonna charge because i think mm. you're right i think it's gonna be pushing three thousand dollars what do you think is a reasonable price for this for me yeah and so this is the hot toys version here this came out years ago uh, Equan, I think, has this as well. So he's saying, agreed. Mark was honorable. He has never cheated on me. Yeah, I would never <laughs> cheat on my guy, Equan. Um, yeah, so so this is the Hot Toys iterations. This is to give you a better sense of what it could look like, right? Mm -hmm. um, so what do you think would be a fair price for an armory? It's I just a you. suit? <laughs> just a suit and a guy? It's Bruce Wayne and the Batman armor, and it's got all the gadgets. It's look at that. Okay, so literally not even a second figure. It's just a suit. Well, is so my the question. hot the Hot Toys one did come. You had the option to have an Alfred with it, which I don't think that they're That's teasing. That's not what I'm saying. So yeah. it is just the guy, and and the suit. The suit. Yeah. There is no second figure. Now Hot Toys has an iteration of the army from the Dark Knight Rises. It's coming out where you could take the bat suit out and make it its own Batman character. You can put the head sculpt on. You can you can make it a Batman. So it's theoretically two figures and the armory. Okay. I'm going to say $900. $900. Okay. So $900 is the absolute <laughs> maximum that one would spend. What if I told you the Hot Toys version was only five hundred dollars oh yeah well that's where the markup is right you said that this was a more expensive company well they're a more expensive company so, 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 so i, I guess say... we don't know how they're going to differentiate themselves right like we're not sure exactly what they're going to do are they going to do real metal is sure what exactly can be so much more premium than these hot toys offerings which obviously this is older so the bruce wayne's a bit rougher but I yeah. mean, they can do whatever they want, you know? There is a market for everything, so yeah. who cares? Okay. Not for you, but... Wow. <laughs> but... Yeah, so know. Hot Toys... So 570 is what Hot Toys um, has marked their new armory as. Um, now, not from the same film, but... Literally could not tell the difference. Okay. Um. So so let me ask this one, one other way. I said $900. My answer could not have been more clear. No, I, I heard that. I, oh. I, I guess I just want to just okay. put a bow on this topic. Sure. Man. Thank God. <laughs> save, save me. <laughs> Blink twice. <laughs> so are you impressed at all with what? No. Okay. So so do you think that Hot Toys in the, our... Yeah, go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. go ahead. Finish your question. I'm sorry. Do you feel I like apologize. Hot Toys in, in our... Like that's already pushed it up as much as possible. And this company trying to, to enter the fray with the same type of things it's just the, the figures can't be that much better so it's just not even worth them tackling these properties well it's a company yeah this is a free market they can it do is. whatever they want yeah. so i mean i'm not saying they should okay well, yeah no you're it. saying yeah you're saying like should they even try or whatever it is yeah. that you're saying and it's like there is a market for everything you know if people want the suit to be darker. There you go. If they want metal as opposed to whatever the other companies were doing. Like, you literally have three Jokers that look exactly the same. So I yeah. feel like you are proof that there is a yeah. sucker yeah. <laughs> for there everything. And, and maybe so, they're just richer. I shouldn't say sucker because, you know, yeah. obviously it's a, it's a joke because yeah. I don't care what other people do with their money. It's true because how I feel about the Joker and wanting to get certain iterations, but then I was pushed to the limit on the price there are people that aren't pushed to the limit, right? That are like, oh no, give me the best quality materials, the best likeness. I mean, was what they're striving for. That, that's debatable, but okay. So you're you're saying like, yeah, let the yeah, let, let this shake out. Okay. Yeah. They could be the Ferrari of the one six market, and that's totally fine. Yeah. This isn't. Yeah. I don't want you to buy. Okay. But 
You know what I mean? Yeah. So, so what if I said, but like, I think, what, okay, go ahead. sorry, but I think this makes it like, oh, well, look at this. This is ex almost the same thing. I think it's a trick because then you're like, well, let's say this new one is worth whatever, $2,000. Yeah. Well, I can get this other one for 500 And I'm like, well, that makes sense. You know? Yeah, they are actually, yeah. They are helping me with my argument, so, honestly. So, yeah. Yeah, I would never be okay, okay. with you spending, but so, like so I this said, is whoever... two thousand. So this is $2,000 and I felt like I desperately needed this. No. There's no way. No, no chance. Well, if I'm paying the tax on it. No, because that's where the new... <laughs> right this is i feel like that's a very separate conversation uh -huh. because like you said we have been i don't think that we have established really how we're going to what you the know new survive. Flow of funds yeah. is going to be okay yeah, that's yeah, that's, yeah. A, that's a different topic that's a different sure. topic okay. so but i would never be okay with you like there has like for me for us there has to be a limit i'm not going to be like okay with you even if you're paying the tax i'm not going to be okay with you spending two thousand dollars on ever, a figure just ever no how about a vehicle no 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 never no. okay so just not two thousand dollars is and and i did mention much. and i did mention that i had an opportunity to add a one six scale vehicle and had to turn it down because it would have been about eighteen hundred dollars yeah, for, no for the batman vehicle and to me that was just too rich for my blood. i will go to war you will go to war <laughs> okay like i have to you know i have to draw the line in the sand I, I am not okay with our household spending more than we live very comfortably, but we are not rich. And so I am not okay. We don't have like just, you know. I'm not poor. I just eat a lot of spaghetti. <laughs> I forget. I want to say that's 40 year old virgin. I just, no, I know it's uh, getting knocked a little up, bit ridiculous. Like it could get too ridiculous and I am not going to yeah. be okay with that. Okay. Yeah. I think that's a, yeah, that, that's, we've pretty much said all we can on this topic. King Dingling is saying these dollar amounts for one six stuff yes. is really starting to make me dizzy. I am car sick. I am sick to my stomach. It is wild though, like how slippery of a slope it is. Once you once you spend two hundred and fifty dollars on that first figure, which I know that pained me to do. It might have even been like three hundred, right? Because I got I the think Thanos. Was four hundred dollars. Was that how much I Yeah, like four ninety five, I thought. No, for the Thanos? No. I think so. No, I didn't pay that much. But it was a lot. It was a lot, mm -hmm. right? And I'm once pretty, you I'm, kind of get over the pain of that first one, then it's like this progressive seduction. Like, well, what's eight hundred dollars? What's eleven hundred dollars? I'm just saying we can literally workers? take a trip for two thousand dollars. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, and I, I guess that's what I mean. Like the real world dollars, you start stacking when when you're talking about two thousand dollars, you start stacking up against real world shit. Where you're like, yeah, I could go to Hawaii for this price. Um, Equan is saying if you don't have this, I think two K is acceptable. Um, he said, "If I didn't have this, oh, if I if he didn't have the yeah. the armory, yeah. So, okay, so I'm just gonna I am gonna say like I am going to be tempted by what they do, right? But they're just it's gonna push is going to come to shove, and I think I'm gonna be priced out. But I will be very very interested and tempted by all of this. So yeah, uh, let's see. Big Rib is saying you could buy a real <laughs> car for two thousand dollars. No joke, honestly." <laughs> It's uh, it's kind of wild to think about, but you know, if people have the funds, if they've got the means to make it work, then just it, it could be a fun hobby, um, when it's not stressful. Equan saying hard pass for me though. I'm good with the hot toys. Yeah, I am jealous that you've got the the Dark Knight armory. One thing that I've always wanted may just have to settle with the Dark Knight Rises Hot Toys armory and call it a day. So Gigi, with that, I think that that wraps up our show today. Any additional thoughts? I didn't piss you off too bad. Oh, I'm sick. I literally feel sick. Well, there there is that. So. <laughs> I just, like, it's been so long since we've streamed, and literally we're talking about the same thing, you know? About it's Joker, just, about Batman. It's just, like, a little yeah. repetitive, and okay. I'm kind of just, ugh. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You fool. But, yeah, no, that's, and I think a lot of, uh, people in the community are feeling that fatigue because it's like the same properties, another Spider-Man, another Iron Man. But those that's what sells. And I'm not immune to wanting to add additional ones. There was an Iron Man that I almost added to the show, but maybe the next one. So we got Collector Joey in the house. Collector Joey, thanks for joining. Hi. We also got Christian Detour Collections. Christian, thanks for joining. Um, I will say you ahead. look really good in this light. Oh, I look like chocolate. That's when I turn when I turn to the side is when I, it breaks up. But. Yeah, you look way better like this. <laughs> then wait, <laughs> let me give you a compliment. See, this is why I don't do it. Forget it. 
Move on. Go ahead, go ahead, go no, ahead. I'm done. Go ahead. No. <laughs> I did reconfigure some things. I've been working on the lighting. Uh, redid this so that you and I could both podcast here today. Together. I look like I blend into the background. <laughs> you are just... getting washed out. We need to put. <laughs> maybe we just need to put something something darker <laughs> behind you. Um, so how do you how do you feel about this space that I'm working on? Eventually, I'll do a collection tour. But how you how do you feel like it's coming along? I am along? so shocked at the progress that you've done. Who knew you could get things done so quickly? Wow. I will say I got a jigsaw. <laughs> I uh, yeah. uh, so so was initially watching uh, Costa and posing for Peter's videos about the garage shelves, and said, I don't think that, that I'll ever you know find the time to do that. But I will say Peter is like pretty inspirational in his video. He says something something along the lines of, "You you never know what you can do until you just try it." He's talking about the jigsaw, and so. You know, Eddie, uh, shout out to Eddie Money Mendez has been kind of helping me along. He sent me a video of everything he did with his garage shelves and finally got the jigsaw and it's fun as hell. Like I'm like, I haven't cut my fingers off. It's been a very fun what endeavor. That? What is the jigsaw? So it's the, uh, it's basically like a blade that goes up and down like ah. this. Mm. See that? Mm -hmm. You like it like that? Um, let's see. We got Mario El Profesoro in the house. Whoa. Back, a back to back stream before LWO. We're definitely starting late tonight. No, we're just wrapping up right now. So I do want to give a shout out really quick to LWO, which will be on our channel in about 30 minutes. So this was just the warm up. I was already doing some prep, talk GG into doing a show. So, um, but so, so you didn't say like how you feel about the, this display area back here. Yeah. I said, I'm impressed. That's it. It's the only compliment I get. <laughs> Hype me up, like say, like, dang, you're just so handy. You put together all these IKEA cabinets by yourself. Yeah, I was impressed when you I walked put together in there. the garage shelf by yourself. You installed the lighting. You used a jigsaw. I'm just saying, you're I'm sexy. Like... <laughs> you're buff. <laughs> Definitely not chubby. I'm just saying, it just I'm so impressed with what you you know. When I ask you to do something, it takes you literally years. It but... has it has been very slow progress though. I, this has been a not work. compared. If I asked you to do something like this it would literally never get done so it's true I yeah if you, if you said hey can you build a garage self and five ikea yeah. uh yeah i would be like F yeah no hire somebody but... <laughs> you put up this shelf <laughs> that we've had for a thousand years and it's never been you know it's just i'm very impressed well yeah, yeah who would have thought but who would have thunk it but yeah hot toys are a great motivator you know to get things done uh big rib is asking have you done a collection tour I've never done a collection tour. Um, would like to do one someday soon. Uh, maybe I'll just do the, the room that I've got there and then eventually a part two of this streaming setup that I'm doing right now because we're coming from our detached garage um, that's converted. So Gigi's office is on this side and then this is kind of our storage slash workout room slash now my art gallery <laughs> and streaming <laughs> studio. So <laughs> very, very multifunctional here. But some someday soon I'll do a collection tour. <laughs> go ahead no go ahead. yeah no i'm just wondering like what else are you gonna do back here you gonna throw boxes away oh, i'm cooking like... up i'm cooking up some things oh you want me to get rid of the brown boxes or i what? just yes okay. Okay. <laughs> yes okay. i do i just you're never gonna sell these things i feel like you're not going to so like why are you keeping you these? never know you never know but we're fortunate right now that i haven't had to sell any but there, there may come a day where I either need to or want to. So, but okay. if you're okay with me throwing out the boxes, then maybe that'll be a negotiation. We'll do it live. We'll do it live. <laughs> so, Gigi, with that, anything you want to plug? Your, um, your social medias, perhaps? No. Okay. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> so, one more time on our channel, uh, seven thirty, which is thirty minutes from now. LWO going to be a really fun night. Check out our Instagram for the link or just come back here, uh, grab some popcorn and come back here in 30 minutes. Uh, Big Rib is saying, oh my God, Gigi, my wife, <laughs> Gigi and my wife are exactly the same. I'm sorry to hear We're that, Big Rib. We're all living the same life. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, they, uh, they have a lot of commonalities running through them, huh? They're good at saying no, that's for sure. Big Rib, I have a question. Do you talk to your wife about your things? Because I rather just like at this point, like I don't want to know. I just, you know. Just do your thing and don't talk to me about it. Don't ask what I think. Like, don't just, just do you. 
and Marco like rep- was like, what do you think about this one? Oh, do you like this? Although I will say there is one a few figures that I've seen that I'm like, oh, I actually have never seen the Batman guy, <laughs> the not the uniform guy, but the, the Batman <laughs> guy, the normal guy in his normal self. Bruce Wayne. Yes, is that a new figure that you have, or oh he's like yeah, looking so, at the? So I got the Topo Topo figures Bruce Wayne suit. So so what that is is a third party. So it's quote unquote knockoff that created the suit. So it's actually the same design from when I was showing you the armory. Yeah. Right. So it looked very. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So so it's that suit that he wears in the Dark Knight. Yeah. But they've done like their own custom. But you did that. That's a separate figure. And then it's ordered? the head. So if you see that Batman figure there, it's the head oh, from that figure. So okay, I basically okay. took that head okay. and put it on the body. I was a little bit confused. Yeah. Okay. So so I kind of made my own version yeah. of it. But I don't have the armory though. I don't have the armory. But I, I always wanted that Bruce Wayne. I think it looks cleaner that way, you know, without the background. Noise. Without the armory. Yeah. Wow. Okay. But you like you like that Topo set. I mean, I looked. I was like, wow, that's interesting. <laughs> he said, "Where the <laughs> fuck did he get this?" From? <laughs> I think actually my nephew saw it. Um, uh, Derek himself is saying, "Gigi knows what's up." Ari the Marvels. Okay. Glad Re, to... re like you know. Like re the Marvels. Them. Okay, got it. I always God. read it Ari uh read the marvels yeah i like i said i didn't personally love it i did really enjoy the first few episodes of miss marvel though so kind of everything with her family until they go into space and it got a the little, little too... graphics i really liked yeah, i would have liked to see a little bit more stuff. of that yeah. yeah i wanted it to be more from her perspective yeah they could have it could have been better but you liked it Gigi liked it not yeah it seemed it seemed like it had some redeeming qualities uh, jazzy is saying marco is she a better poser than you yes undoubtedly i yes. think pretty much anyone is a better poser than me you can wow. see behind us these are pretty limited poses here so <laughs> <laughs> i just try to do a little bit of something to bring them to life but yeah i'm not not very gifted when it comes to the posing <laughs> you just see <laughs> i'm looking at you just seeing your your blank face but with that i just want to thank everyone for joining today really fun to be back Hoping to do one of these monthly, but we'll just see what Gigi's workflow looks like. I mean, how many more times can we talk about, you know, the Joker? I just we didn't, can't. Well, okay. Well, maybe we won't talk about Joker, but we didn't talk about Spider-Man or Iron Man this time. So, got to bring I'm it back. I'm just sick of it. I'm sick of okay. it. Okay. Time is a flat circle. We're just always going to be <laughs> looping back on, it, on itself. But I will just say really quickly, if you're in here, if you're watching on the replay, please hit the like button. I thought, I thought you were going to say something, but... Uh, that you're going to razz me for saying that. But yeah, just hit the like button and uh, help us out there. Last question, then we're going to end. Big Rib saying, exactly the same. In the beginning, I tried, but I knew it was over when she was mixing up Marvel <laughs> with DC. I knew it was over. After <laughs> but I think it's oh, like, man. you know, it's your own hobby. So like, go talk to your friends about it. Like, you know, it's I don't want to be upset. So let's just keep it separate. That's your hobby. Like, it's keep good it for each you know, we each have our own hobbies. Like we're our own people outside of this relationship. So oh, it's better yeah. that way, I feel like. <laughs> uh, let's see. We got uh, Big Breda himself <laughs> also saying, why are we streaming in two, uh, let's see, 240p. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it's 720p, first of all. Uh, second of all, I'm in the process of taking one of Gigi's old cameras and converting it to a webcam setup so hopefully we're gonna have some better video quality here in the near future but it's been rough it's been rough <laughs> gg may have lost all the cords to it uh, go ahead it's my camera yourself. so who cares i paid for it <laughs> uh let's see brenda saying i changed to 720p but your uh, video is really bad uh i, I don't know what to say honestly I, if any, anyone else having that uh having that issue well sorry Maybe next time will be better. <laughs> also, a potato camera. I've got a 4K webcam. Anything so we said be is good, not that important. So It's true. It's true. We're very low tech yeah. over here. But with that, thanks for joining Jazzy, Big Breda, everyone else in the chat. And we will leave you all with this. You know all right. Go. Saying? Go. You and are we'll... <laughs> very terrible at and this. And we'll catch you all on the next one. Bye. God, you're fired. I'm run done. it back, run it back, run it back, run it back. And <laughs> we'll catch you all on the next one. <laughs> That's how it goes. And- Bye. All right, go, go. In five, four, three. That's tomorrow, and that is it. Okay. In five, four, three. That's tomorrow, and that is it for us today. And we will leave you with a...
I can't do it. Okay. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll, no. we'll do it live. Fuck it. Do it live. I can, I'll write it and we'll do it live. Right. Fucking thing sucks. In five, four, three. That's tomorrow, and that is it for us today. I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks again for watching. We'll leave you with Sting and a cut off his new album. Take it away. <laughs> what a waste of my time.